he used the event to show he shares his father Prince Charles's concerns for the environment. Addressing a roundtable discussion, Harry, appointed by the Queen as her Commonwealth Youth Ambassador last April, said, As someone who is about to become a father, I am acutely aware of our shared responsibility to make this world more resilient and its inhabitants more accountable for the next generation. The only way to see real progress is not by chance, it's by change. There is now, more than ever, a pressing urgency to saving the planet, the clock, as you all know, is ticking. Of the 2.4 billion people in the Commonwealth of 53 nations, 60% are under 30. Harry, 34 said of his role, I can honestly say I feel more passionate than ever about the huge opportunity we have here to empower young people across the Commonwealth antiquated, what has struck me the most is that you are changing behavior every day by the way you are choosing to live and therefore the example you are setting. You are rejecting modern hierarchies, antiquated systems and biases, you are looking at the world with fresh eyes and breaking rules and boundaries that no longer apply to enable a better future for everyone. You are authentic in your passion for social change, you genuinely care about preserving the environment and you focus your lives on working within your communities for the betterment of those around you. What you are doing, day in, day out, is nothing short of outstanding. The prince was welcomed to Lancaster House by Britain's Commonwealth Minister, Tarek Ahmed, who congratulated him on Meghan's pregnancy. Lord Ahmed also welcomed her decision to become patron of the Association of Commonwealth Universities. I know there's a small event happening in your lives, but we are looking forward to the Duchess being part of the family," he said. When Harry arrived, he was greeted by a group of drummers from Ghana called One Drum and bobbed his head, pretending to take off his jacket to start dancing, as he told them, don't stop playing, 